with uh, integers, or also known as numbers. All right. So in the uh, in last in the last episode, we were working um, with print statements, and we we were uh, adding and subtracting like numbers. So for example, seven minus two is five. So you can do basic uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. All right. So now let's uh, let's make a basic calculator. But before we do that, we need to learn some new stuff. So we're now going to get input from the user. So to get that, we need to set a variable. So a variable is just something that stores a word or information inside it. So let's uh, name our variable um, uh, number one, and we'll set it, we'll set it equal to five. And we'll make another variable called number two, and we'll set it equal to five. And what we're going to do is we're going to print number one plus number two. So guess what's, what's this going to do? What is this going to do? So it's, number one is going to grab from this variable, and, it, and this variable stores num the number five. And number two, uh, variable number two also stores the number five. So what are we going to get? We're printing number one plus number two, and we get the number ten. So what if we wanted to, um, this variable to be whatever our user wants it to be? So to get input from the user, you just have to do um, input, and then inside parentheses, you say, uh, what number do you want it to be? So when we run this, it's going to ask us, to give a uh, number one and number two um, numbers to store. So yeah, it asks us what what number do we want it to be, and I'll just put four. And what number should number two be? I'll just put two, and it prints forty two. Now, why does it print forty two? Because in when when we give um when we give uh, number one and number two a number strings and remember last time when we tried to add strings together it just added uh, the other number onto the first number it didn't add them together so if we want to add them together correctly we want to make the numbers integers so we can add them easily so we want it to be six right so we just uh, put integer and then inside these parentheses we just put our variable. So what this does is it makes number one an integer and it makes number two an integer. And then we can easily add these numbers. Forgot our parentheses. So now it's asking us what number should number one be. So let's put four. And it's asking us here, what number should number two be? I put two. And we're not going to get 42 this time because we made each variable an integer. So let's hit enter. And we get the number six. So we just made our first basic calculator. And it just um, does addition. So let's try subtraction. So first number, let's make it two. Sure, I mean. And our second number, let's make it 2. And we get 2, because 4 minus 2 equals 2. And we're not getting, um, we're not getting 42, because we made it integers. We made them integers. So now, let's, um, let's talk about something different. Let's talk about these things called if statements. And what if statements do is, so if something is true, it will do a certain order. But if something is not true, but it'll do a different order. So let's let's try if statements. Oh yeah, and to comment things out, you just put um, hashtags in in front of lines of code. What this does, this is telling the computer to skip over these lines of code because they're commented out. So let's just pretend these guys aren't here. 
So let's talk about if statements. All right, so let's uh, make a variable from our variable. Let's set it. And let's set it to six. And then now we're going to check what our variable is. So if our variable is equal to six, then we'll print basic. All right, so you might be wondering, why do we have two equal signs here? Why do we have two equal signs? So one equal sign means setting our variable to six. One equal signs mean means we change the value of this variable to six. And two equal signs means we're checking the value of our variable. So we should get the number six because our variable was equal to the number six. The number is six, yep. So let's make it five and nothing should happen because our variable does not equal six anymore. Yep, nothing happens. So let's talk about else statements. Else statements happen if this statement is not true. So right now our statements statement is not true because our variable does not equal six. So let's make an else statement. So else, if our variable is not six, then we'll just print the number isn't six. So if our val our variable is equal to six, which is not, it'll if the variable is equal to six, then it'll print this, and otherwise it will print this. So what do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to print this because our variables does not equal is not six, so it's going to print, but numbers value isn't six. So yeah, 